What do you got there? How you doing? I have built all sorts of raised beds. Today, right here, I'm gonna build the fastest, easiest raised bed ever. First, you want some rebar, uh, two foot lengths. You can buy them in two foot lengths at the store, but a 10 foot length is only a few dollars more than a two footer. Does that make sense? It's a lot cheaper to buy a 10 foot length and cut it down than it is to buy two foot sections. And we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll need eight two foot sections. And you're gonna have a little rebar left over if you buy the 10 footers, it's totally okay because you always can use rebar. Okay, ear protection, eye protection. Use your grinding wheel and file down that rough edge, okay? You wanna measure four feet on your eight foot board. This is gonna be your straight edge. Again, eye protection, ear protection, gloves, okay? Just, you can do all this stuff, just do it with 10 fingers and two eyes. I'm using pressure treated wood, the new kind. There's a video at the end here that talks all about using pressure treated wood in your vegetable beds, okay? Love my speed square. This is goldenrod. I'm just gonna let it grow. It'll be on the edge of the bed here. I love the, the golden flowers and you know, the bees like it, so. Some sort of metal cutting pliers. One inch or inch and a quarter dry wall screws. Dry wall screws. You don't need exterior screws. You don't need stainless steel screws. These will last longer than the wood. Trust me, I've built so many raised beds and you know what the last thing to go is? Is the drywall screws. This is called, I call it strapping or banding. Uh, sometimes you find this in the, probably the plumbing department. Pull out a bunch of it and then cut it. This is the simplest bed I've ever made. I'm really, I've been thinking about this. I'm being eaten by bugs. Um, but why didn't I think of this before, you know? So think about roughly where you want your bed. Bend it around tight like that. You want the tops flush and this to be tight. You could put two sets of bands if you want. I forgot to do the last one on that side. So put your banding on each corner and think about with the banding on, we have a physical idea of the physicality of the bed. Do you want space between your beds? Yes, you do. <laughs> I usually like a mower width, 20 inch width, or think about your string trimmer. But I'm gonna band this all together and then we're gonna push it around a little bit. So the spacing uh, here and over there wasn't going to work, so... Um, I moved the golden rod. So some of it is there, some of it's over there, but here now, no golden rod was harmed in this video. But I've opened up the space so we have space. I can move this whole raised bed over a little bit. Once you put in a raised bed, it's in. So think about that. I need more space over there and I've got a lot of space here. There we go, lined up. I made a mistake here. I want, I've learned through all my other raised bed videos that I want the outer width to be four feet. And the way I've got this long board here on the outside, that's gonna be four feet plus the width of that board. I'm going to move this board to here, the same way that one is. Oh. 
All right, you've got your bed where you want it. Maybe think about it for a day or, or not, because I don't. This is a piece of half inch electrical conduit and I smash the end. You'll see what we're gonna do in a minute. But if you have a pipe or maybe your neighbor, maybe a friend has a piece of pipe, just some pipe, hollow pipe you can smash the end of. Come in handy, because now it's rebar time. So we wanna take two pieces of rebar on each side of our raised bed, roughly equidistant. Uh, I think measuring is overrated, so I just eyeball it. And I kind of like the, the imperfect of building things, but you can measure it because some of you are gonna measure it anyway. But this, we're gonna drive in and we're gonna have it flush against here. So we've hit the top, the top of the, We've hit the top of the board here. I want to drive it a little farther down because I don't want anyone to get caught on that edge there. And you're talking back to me in the video saying, Eric, why don't we put the rebar on the inside and that way the tip would be buried. It's because your raised bed is going to bow outward, not inward. Is that? outward not inward i i built this enough so the idea is that the rebar on the outside keeps the board from pushing out all right laying down cardboard and then our garden soil mix and then we've got the fastest garden raised bed ever Cool, huh? You wanna spend some more time together? Should be floating right here, some more raised bed videos. There could be maybe another design you like, right over here.